What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. Hope everyone's having a great day. This is Josh as always with JV Fitness here with a quick simple video to show you the simplest program that I've been following to improve strength, add mass, and improve muscular endurance. Now the name of this program I don't really have a name for because it's something I kind of came up with on my own but technically it is a form of progressive overload but it is my own version. It's a very simplified version. So progressive overload, it's kind of hard to explain uh, without going too technical, but basically what it means is to exceed the workout you were trying to do for that day and gradually improving over time. I know that that's the kind of the whole point of training in general, so I'm going to go ahead and explain how this program works and then hopefully it'll give you a better understanding. So because this program is a strength training or powerlifting type of program, mainly geared towards powerlifters, it is going to revolve around the three big lifts. That's a squat, bench, and deadlift. Although if you would like, you can include the overhead press because it is very beneficial. So the first step will be to determine your max for all three or all four lifts if that's what you're going to do. So you're going to need to spend a week or so and find the max for all four lifts or do what I do and just base it off your last meet if you are a competitive powerlifter. The second step of the program is going to be to calculate 65% of your one rep max. So once you find your one rep max, you're going to calculate 65% of each, and that's going to be the starting point for the program. So using my numbers, I had a 430 squat, 375 bench, and 630 deadlift. Um, so that makes my squat about 280 pounds, my bench 245, and my deadlift 410 pounds. So you're going to need to round to the nearest increment of 5 pounds for this. Okay, so here's basically how the program works. You're going to always aim for four sets of six. You're going to be starting at the weight we've calculated based on your one rep max at 65%. After the first set of six, if you're able to get two or more consecutive sets of seven, then finish the workout, but the next workout you're going to increase the weight by five pounds. If on the workout you're only able to get four sets of six only or three sets of six and maybe a set of five, keep the weight the same. Again, listen to your body for this. If you can't even get five, either decrease the weight or find out where your weak points are and base your accessory work off of that. Accessory work is always determined by your weak points in your lifts. So the next question that people are going to have is how often should I train? What is the frequency that I should train? And for this, I'm not going to give you a definitive time frame. Now, I don't like programs that give you a schedule for train this on this day, train this on that day, or train this so many times a week. I really think it's important to listen to your body. I'm lucky enough that for a bench press, for example, um, I recover pretty quickly from a bench press workout, so I'm able to train it more frequently. Plus, if I'm a little bit sore, I can pretty much tough it out. So for me, benching, I'm able to bench three or four times a week with this program. With squats, I find that they beat me up quite a bit, so usually I'll only squat twice a week and deadlift maybe once a week or a week and a half. So you may find it different. You may find you recover from squats more effectively and faster, so you may be able to squat a lot more often than I do. So listen to your body. When your body feels like it's ready to go, you're going to know, and then you can hit it again. I would say, especially early on, though, it is important to try to tough it out as much as you can and get through it, maybe every other day or every third day or something like that, just because you want to build the endurance. You want to be able to push through some of the tough times and some of the dark times and really get through the tough workouts because that's going to really improve your endurance and make you more effective later on when you get to the heavier weight. Okay, so what are the benefits of this program? So for one, other than the strength, size, and mass gains you're going to get, it also builds confidence, especially early on. The weights are going to be very, very light once you get started and for the first few weeks, so it's going to really help build your confidence and plus because the weight's only gradually increasing it's not going to be as shocking to the body so your confidence is really going to be increased as you progress through this program the intensity won't be as high early on but it will become very intense very fast if you think about it if you're increasing the workout by five pounds each and every single workout which you will be doing early on within two or three weeks depending how often you train that workout you may be adding 20 30 35 pounds to the workout from when you first started so it does get intense very quickly the gradual weight increase isn't really picked up as easy on the body as well. The thing is, is if you're trying to train, let's say you're training with 275 or four sets of five or whatever, five sets of five, if you all of a sudden jump to 315, that's going to be a big shock on the body and you're probably going to be struggling with it greatly. So the gradual weight increase going from maybe 275 to 280, 285, 290, 295, 300, gradually increasing, the body's not going to pick up on that. It's only five pounds, so your body's not going to pick up on it as easy. Also, like I've already said, it gradually improves muscular endurance. And it also, because the lot, the lot of repetitions, if you think about it, if you're doing four sets of six, that's 24 reps. You might be doing two or three extras, that's 26, 27 reps. Add a heavier weight, that's going to build a lot of mass as well. Okay, so now comes the issue of plateaus. Plateaus are going to happen, especially in the 80 plus percent range. You're going to find that instead of being able to power through each workout one at a time and get through it and increase the weight every workout, it's going to take two or three workouts before the weight goes up. When you get to the 80 plus percent range, keep going through the 4x6 if you can. 
Eventually, you're going to have to do a lot more accessory work to further improve endurance and also to overcome um, weak points when you become fatigued. If you find that uh, you get to a point where you just can't do it anymore, decrease the weight by 10 or 15 pounds to regain confidence and work your way back up. So like I said guys, make sure you run this program as long as possible, but keep track of the time that you've been running the program. So if it's been four weeks, six weeks or whatever, don't quit. Don't say, okay, I'm going to run this for four weeks and then I'm going to decrease the weight. Run it as long as you possibly can. Then when you find that, you know, four or five workouts go and you cannot increase the weight anymore, decrease the reps. And this is called a strength phase. So instead of aiming for four sets of six, aim for four sets of four and keep going as we were doing before. And then in time, aim for four sets of two. You're also going to find that uh, as time goes on, especially if you're still doing four by sixes, once you get closer to 80% or so, you're going to find that your body takes longer to recover, so take that time to recover. Take an extra day if you need to. In time, aim for four sets of two, and then you could also use this right up to a meet if you are a competitive powerlifter. Just continue running this program right up until four sets of one, and then basically that's four singles. You're going to be probably, hopefully, benching more than you were when you first came into the program, and then you're ready for your meet. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys learned something. Make sure you give this a shot. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Peace.